Hello everyone, I'm Zen and welcome back to Shadow Guard, one of the premium modules to Neverwinter Nights. We've just uh, spent a long time eavesdropping on the conversation of our father and some other guy. Hi there. I bid you hello. And we have to f talk with our father. Maybe there's something interesting here. Your father rises from his seat slowly, his face appearing tired and haggard in the dim light of the chamber. He smiles at you, but you sense that it is a forced smile, and that he is truly quite terrified underneath it. He places his hands gently upon your shoulders. I am glad to see you safe and sound, Dello, for I had received words, word that you were beset by assassins in the market district. I'm fine, just a bit shaken up. Well, you're safe now, and that's all that matters. Don't worry, we will get to the bottom of this assassination attempt and take vengeance upon any who would dare strike against my son. In any event, uh, I am pleased to see you escape such a danger and scale. You, you've been so much to me, Dello, even if I do not always show it in the best manners. Ah, uh, man, I, I want you to know that. I know, father, I know you do. I have dropped, I heard what you said. Your father smiles again, and this time it seems more genuine. I'm glad you understand, Dario. And I know this has been a trying time for you as well as me. Do, do you think we could make more time to spend with one another, Dario? The rift between us has grown far too large, and I would very much like to remedy that. Sure, let's do that. I mean, why not? It's not like I I hate my father, it's he just works a lot, right? Because he's an important guy. Yeah, sure. Paris nods and smiles. Good, we shall do so. From this day forth. From now on, I shall promise I will make more time for you and I. Your father straightens his pose. Uh, his eyes clearing as they look into yours solemnly. Hello, I need you to listen to what I have to say next very closely, for it is of great importance to both you and I. Garak may be facing dark days, and I have begun preparation to ensure your safety. The attack on you in the market district only enforces my worries that you may not be safe within the city for much longer. In the meantime, I want to exercise great caution, for I would be crushed if were to happen, something were to happen to you. Does this have to do... Uh, something to do with the gem you were discussing? Your father's eyes grow large at the mention of the gem and his voice trembles in fear. Be wary of mentioning that, that thing. It, it may be listening, listening to us, Delo. Uh, why does the gem worry you so? It, it is a that thing, Delo. That is all I know for sure. It sends terrible vision to me in the night. Visions of Garak burning in flames, of, of all this being destroyed, and I fear it intends to bring such a fate to us. I am making arrangements, which I hope will rid the city of this dark influence once and for all, but it is not safe to speak of that here. In the meantime, I want you to exercise great caution, for I would be crushed. Yeah, this is the same thing. What kind of danger are we in? I... I don't know, Dello. I don't have any answers yet, but I mean to get to the bottom of this. I have arranged for a meeting of sorts, one which I have been promised would shed some light on the nature of this gem we uncovered, and bring peace to Garak. If all goes well, we will be able to sleep at ease this evening. If not, well, it is better not to think of that outcome. With whom? My team with whom? I think it's the Red Prophet, or whatever he was called. It is not safe to speak for the of this here, Dello. You must simply trust me on this matter. All goes well. We will be able to sleep at ease. Don't you don't sound confident in this meeting? Well, it it may be dangerous. That is all I I, I do not yet know what the outcome will be, but it's, it is worth it if I can sleep easy. Knowing the city of Garak, as well as you, my son, are safe from harm. 
if all goes well, we will be able to sleep. Okay, I shall trust your judgment. Okay, it's not good. If it heartens me to know I have your support in this matter, Dello, and goes a long way towards easing my concern. If it will ensure your safety, it is worth doing. I must go now, Dello, for my meeting is to begin soon, and I must depart this house while no prying eyes lie in watch. I want you to stay clear of our home at the Imperial Estate for a bit, at least until I send for you. Telling you it is safe to return if my meeting does not go well, it, it would be better if you were not there. Very well, father. I shall respect your wishes. Be careful, my son. I will send for you when I am sure it's safe for you to turn home. But still, that uh, but until that time I ask that you please avoid the estate. Just as he turns to leave, your father looks back at you one last time. I want you to know how proud I am of you, Dello. Please remember that. I... I know, father. Thank you. Thank you. Your father gives you a heartfelt smile, and you feel at ease around him for the first time in months. It's a nice feeling, and one you hope to hold on to for the rest of your life. With that, your father leaves the chamber, heading towards his mysterious meeting. You are left only with your thoughts, and the warning of your father. Okay, I mean, okay. Uh, something will happen just, just like that. Maybe when I go outside or something. Maybe if I talk with this guy. Well met. I don't want to kill me. You know the markets aren't safe, Delo. They've already been twelve murders there since winter. Oh, there's a lot. Perhaps it's time I talk to your father and Officer Gunnelling. See you around then. Maybe the other son of a bitch here. Is that here maybe? Ah still here, okay. Not good. Not good. Okay. What should we do? Something happened? Uh, not sure. It was kind of a hang up there. Oh, hello. It's good that I found you, Taylor. For it seems you are in grave danger. Oh, what is it, Marcus? During my investigation into the assassination attempt against you, I have uncovered some strong clues pointing towards Mikkel Ravenclaw, a rather dangerous half-elf with ties to several roguish groups. Rumor has it that Mikkel is... Mikkel, let's say Mikkel, is planning an attempt on you and your father's lives in the near future. So, time may be running short. He would dare strike against my family? I must go warn my father immediately. I will have to suggest against that, Delo, until Mikkel's plans are known. It might be better if you and your father were not in one another's company. Otherwise, he may launch his attack sooner than anticipated. We must stop Mikkel before any more harm is inflicted and any other accomplices in this matter be revealed. Only then will I feel comforted that your lives are safe from danger. Okay, what do you propose we do? I would like you to travel with me to confront Mikkel at the Ravenclaw Tavern, the Market District. We may be able to resolve this without bloodshed. But the threat against Magistrate Ocaris must be ended. Okay, let's pay him a visit. Uh, Mikkel Raven Ravenclaw plans must be stopped before they come to fruition. Hello, I would like to accompany you to Ravenclaw's tavern, where we may discover the nature of his plans. Okay, let's go. Lead the way, Delo. I will lend that what aid I can in this affair. Take your weapon. We go. I mean, major armor would be useful. It's a lot of armor. Potentially four. Maybe less. Okay, so we go this. Ravenclaw Tavern. Anyone here? Hello, guy. He doesn't want to help us. Um, 
Ruknar, hello Ruknar. May maybe you could hello there. Give your give us the key to your boss. Do you have to offer? Just some cash. Okay. Nothing useful then. Let's go here then. Oh, I may, maybe I could rest. Oh, lots of food, so shouldn't be a problem. And it's best to have this flame weapon on. Hello. As you approach, you notice the half orc guard in the door is a large, muscular, massive axe in his hand appears to have seen quite a bit of action in its time. The large half orc looks at you closely as you come nearer, confusion in his eyes. Look, you look familiar. Like someone I was supposed to look for. What do you want? Uh, I have business with Mikkel. Can I please pass? Be not informed of anyone coming for business. You not fool me. Get out of here. I not want to see you around here again. Get out. Hello. Oh, okay. Why you not listen? Wait a minute. Okay, so he wants to close. Okay. Yeah, improved power attack is extremely good. Open this. Maybe I could just drink this small. Okay. How about I sneak attack you? Aha! <laughs> this guy is so strong. I, I mean. And this is a small area, so. Nothing really. Oh. How about I sneak attack you, ass? Ah, shit. Mikkel, I know that you and I have not had much to do with one another in the past. Oh. Who is this? Uh... Ba Barun. Okay. Yes. Hello to you. Do you suggest we do next? I have to admit, I'm quite surprised to learn that high-ranking imperial official, such official such as Chancellor. Varhun would be involved in a matter like this. I believe we are going to have to confront the Chancellor on this issue. What do you wish me to do? Never mind. Hello? Not, not give you any more trouble. Let's go see. Maybe there's a chest here or something. Yeah, yeah. Traps. Great. Unlock. Oh, it's the key. Okay, that's great. Juju notes. Okay. A ring. Okay, I will have this identified at a shop. I'm very rich, so it's great. I'm liking, I'm really liking this module so far. I mean, it's more story based and something that's not, I mean, with eight, with what's what's it right now? Seven episodes. I would probably be level eight. <laughs> no, probably not. But in Neverwinter Nights. But yeah, I'm really liking this. Okay, let's go out. Let's identify that ring because it may be. I mean, it is magical. So maybe useful. Hello. Hello there. <laughs> Tavern keeper. What do you have to offer? No problem that your boss is dead. Sable trap and open lock. Okay, sure. I mean, it's something. We do have to go talk to that chancellor. Hmm. 
Okay, we have to go there. There's probably something interesting in his desk that we may probably still lock. Probably not. But yeah, we are strong. Not strong, but powerful. Too bad I'm not zero one hundred. So I will get the title. Maybe I can tell you that the Chancellor well is a. Oh, I found this letter in Mikkel's Raven, Mikkel Ravenclaw's possession. This looks to be looks to be Barnes' handwriting. The content is most alarming. So Mikkel has been known to dabble in forgeries in the past. Let's go talk, have a talk with. Baron, shall we? Perhaps we can get to the bottom of this matter. Oh yeah, I did a good thing instead of s talking with him by myself. Can I check this? Oh! Oh! Oh, I got lawful. That's not good. Uh, to a plea for dilemma, it just seems that, uh... Oh shit, okay. Hello, Chancellor. I greet you. What is the meaning of this? Why have you disturbed me so? Settle down, Chancellor. We simply wish to have a chat with you. Yellow here believes you may have some information regarding a plot against Magistrate Ocaris. That is as outrageous, preposterous. I, Chancellor Baron, would never stoop to such trickery. I'll have you stripped of your rank for this, Captain. Now, now, Chancellor, there is no need to get so upset. I merely wish to assure the lad that there is no truth behind his alleged allegations. After all, you have nothing to fear, correct? Baron appears quite uncomfortable. Well, of course not. Why could you... How could you even suggest that I would? Despite his words, Baron appears quite nervous. Good, Dedo. You may feel free to look around as you like, both here and in the Chancellor's quarters. Okay? Ah! You really won't allow me to go this way? Son of a bitch! I mean, I've already been to his quarters and I don't think I have seen anything there. But, there may have been something new, probably not. Okay, I mean, we did have to go take that letter. We did get more lawful, I don't, I'm not sure why. Well met. So, have you found anything out of the ordinary in Chancellor, Chancellor Sparhan's positions? Yeah, this letter. Anagru takes the letter from you, reading over the incriminating words. Well now, this is quite damning proof of Bahun's guilt. I shall give you the honors of bringing this charge upon Bahun, Dello. Please speak to the, the Chancellor and inform him he is under arrest for treason against the Empire. I greet you! <laughs> Thick sweat has appeared on Bahun's brow. Bringing a fog over his lenses. So you see, sense that he is giving you a glare of complete loathing. Uh, Chancellor Varen, you are hereby placed under arrest for treason against Magistrate Okaris and the Sharakan Empire. Varen's face has turned a dark red, his breath coming in short, seething gasps. Outwitted by the J uh, Jorin's Bane family, it matters not, though, for you will be too late to save your father. Tell me, what is planned against my father, Chancellor? I am afraid you will never have the chance to find out, Dello. For if I am to die, at least you shall come with me. My steel will strike true. I mean, you do have a quasit. What's it to me? Yeah, exactly. You will I mean, you being invisible does not do anything to me. Dello Joringsman, are you right? What? What has Baron done? Baron stone, ruined. Magic staff, mag amulets. Oh, 
sh if I kind of could have done anything, I wonder if we could do this without killing him. Or maybe if I no, he he sensed that he had no idea. If I if if I was by myself, maybe he would be able to give me a deal. Okay, well then. met. Captain Anagril appears quite concerned over the events which have transpired in the Grand Hall today. So, Varun has betrayed the Empire. I will confess that Chancellor was not the easiest chap to get along with, but he always seemed very devoted to Sharaka. I wonder if we'll ever know his purpose now. I have placed my men on high alert, and I'm. it might be best if you warn your father to be wary for a bit longer. Just in case Varun has set any trouble into motion, I'd suggest going to the Magistrate as soon as possible. Okay, I'll do that. Please hurry to Akaris, Delo. It would be a terrible tragedy if something were to happen to the Magistrate. Of course, but I yet to have to identify some stuff, so it will have to wait. Mm -hmm. ah. Oh, I'm glad we were able to bring justice to that treacherous worm, Varn. But my heart remains uneasy, Dello. I fear we have not seen the end of his foul machinations. I'm going to investigate matters a bit further and see what I may uncover. For the meantime, you shall should go warn your father in case Varn has set into motion some dire plan. I wish you luck, Dello. And I shall pray for Raka to keep you both, uh, both you and your father safe. Please hurry and warn your father, for it will be a great tragedy if some ill fate were to befall either of you. Turns and heads quickly away. Okay, I mean I can always wait a little bit. I do want to get that magic item identified, so that's that. This is probably also food. Yeah, first we go and get some shop. Hmm. Um, eh, sure, uh, a food seller can identify my items. The pink uh, amulet of the veil. Full resistance and natural armor. Great. And what's the stuff? Adept stuff. Well, wizard and sorcerer. Major armor, magic missile, ray of frost, light. This is a really good item. Ray of frost, unlimited is. I mean, it's a country, but. Sure, let's sell it. Can't really use this, so yeah, let's sell this one too. Not useful to us. Not sure about this stone, if I should. Have it with me. Maybe it's some kind of beacon that that will allow people to teleport to me or something. Though it's ruined, so I don't think it matters. Question mark. Well, either way, this is gonna be the end of this episode. So thank you very much for watching, and remember, if you like this episode, push the like button. If you disliked it, push the dislike button. If you uh, want to see more of my videos in the future? Subscribe to the channel. So, until next time.